Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create beauty and fashion videos as well as lifestyle vlogs. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. So today's video is going to be sort of a tutorial and full review of the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Highlight Wand. But before we get started, we're going to go ahead and unlock day 11 in our advent calendar. So for those who are new here, I'm doing Vlogmas this year, meaning that I'm releasing a video every single day in the month of December, which means we're going to unlock day 11 in the advent calendar. So let's see what we got right here at the bottom. So let's open this up, see what we got. Okay. So it's a weightless hair oil from Verb. Actually, this is something we could try out now. It's a daily treatment that fights frizz. So I put about a quarter size in my hand. Okay. It's super soft. And it does add a slight shine. It's not a super high shine, but it adds a slight shine, which I'm not mad at that. It's really soft. It makes your hair feel super soft. So, okay, so that's something I can absolutely use. Before we get into the tutorial, let me tell you a little bit about the claims of this highlighting wand. It's supposed to be a liquid highlighting wand that plays on the light to help illuminate the face. A couple of the key ingredients is soft focus silica, which rich velvety texture blurs imperfections. Another key ingredient is luminous polymers, which enhances the skin's luminosities with a smooth texture. I did pick this wand up from Sephora and it retails for $40. So if you wanna see how I got this look using the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Highlight Wand, then keep on watching. Okay, socialites, so this is the wand. Let's talk about the packaging. The packaging is actually very quality. Obviously, it's a rose gold color with the metallic rose gold top, which is made of plastic. And it just has this, you know, plastic, it comes in a plastic squeeze tube with the sort of lighter metallic rose gold writing on the front. It's very, very cute. <laughs> Love that. So it does have a sort of doe foot applicator on the tip that you squeeze out to use there's a on and off it's really hard to see but it says on and off here and it shows you exactly how to open it by turning on and then you close it by turning off so that product won't seep out so I like how that's sort of thorough that way you don't have to worry about maybe if you travel with this or put it in a makeup bag you don't have to worry about it maybe squeezing out into the top or even you know bursting out of the actual cap the color that I got is pillow talk medium it does come in six different shades three of them being shimmer and three of them being radiant the color pillow talk 2 medium that I got is actually a radiant finish so I do have on my cream products already my complete base I wanted to try it before powder and after powder just to show you guys what sort of a look you will get both ways so I have on my foundation concealer and cream contour so the way that the website recommends you to apply it is to just use the doe foot applicator and sort of just place it right on your cheekbone. So I went ahead and put three dots there. They do recommend that you use either your fingertips to blot that in or some sort of brush. What I'm gonna use is a drier beauty blending sponge because using something stiff for me helps liquid products to sort of stay in place. So I'm gonna lightly tap it being careful not to move the product too far up or down. I kind of want it to stay right here in this area and bringing up in a slight C shape. It's super, super easy to blend and it just looks very luminous as you can see. I really like the fact that it looks super natural. If you're somebody that just wants that natural highlight from within look, I feel like these highlighters would do an amazing job. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. This one's in the color Translucent and I'm just gonna lightly set my entire face. So as 
you can see setting the face you still see that sort of luminous appearance to the skin that almost looks like it's supernatural like as if you just have a natural sun-kissed glow to the tops of your cheekbones so on the other side i want to try putting it on top of the powder so we're going to do the same three dots here and using the same beauty blending sponge we're just going to lightly tap it being sure not to bring the product too far up or too far down and just curve it sort of around the eye area in a slight C shape. Okay. So right off the bat, you notice that when you place the product on top of the powder, it really helps the pr product to sort of stand out a lot more. You get more of that sort of blinding highlight. So if you're somebody that sort of likes that highlight where you can see your cheekbones shining from down the street, you can go ahead and set it with powder first and then put the product on top. I think it's a very, very nice look as well both ways, but as you can see, when you put it on top of the cream products and then set after you get more of a natural highlight which i think would look really nice for like work or maybe church and then if you want to sort of go out or you're doing something a little bit more fancy or more dressed up or even going to the beach where you want that blinding highlight i feel like putting it on top of your powder will sort of give you that a little bit more of a dramatic look with the product I really love playing around with different highlighters. I like powder too, but I've just noticed that you can get a more natural look using the liquid products. Comment down below and let me know which one do you prefer. Do you prefer using liquid highlighters or powder highlighters? And do you put it on with your foundation or do you put it on after you set your face already with your powder. That's my two cents. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like if you learned anything from this video, and until next time, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cause I've been where you are. Cause too fresh with the scars But I don't have the answers